There are a lot of ways to apply oil to canvas, but in my opinion, the quickest, easiest, and most fun is Alaprima. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you what Alaprima is, show you how to do it, and how it can help your painting. When most people think about painting, they picture the paint being blended on a palette and then applied to the canvas. I'm gonna show you a time-saving alternative to that. Alaprima painting is a painting technique for applying wet paint on top of already wet paint in order to blend right on the canvas. The fact that you paint wet into wet is the most important aspect of Alaprima. So that brings us to the why of Alaprima. Why would you paint that way? With Alaprima, you establish new colors on the canvas or you modify existing colors. And that's because you're doing your mixing right there on the painting instead of on a palette. Well, instead of thinking about Alaprima like you're applying paint to a canvas, think about it like you're mixing or blending. That blending and mixing right there on the canvas will save you a lot of time. Painting Alaprima usually results in a looser and more expressive painting. The danger with Alaprima painting is you have to be careful not to create muddy colors. Keep your cools mixed with cools and your warms mixed with warms unless you want to desaturate your colors, which is fine, sometimes that's necessary, but you need to be aware. It should be noted that for Alaprima painting, you need to be painting on top of wet colors. If the colors have dried already, you're not painting Alaprima. You're doing something else, either scumbling or glazing. The opacity of the paint doesn't matter for Alaprima. You can paint with either opaque, semi-opaque, semi-transparent, or transparent paint. What's important is that the paint underneath the paint you're painting on top of is still wet. So let's do a demonstration of Alaprima painting. Here I have a green circle. Now I'm going to use this yellow to create a highlight. By painting Alaprima, I can do my mixing right on the canvas. This will speed up time and also allow me to judge my colors a little bit more accurately. To accompany the yellow for the highlight, I'm going to use this cool violet for the shadow color. These colors, because they're all cool colors, mix very well together and maintain a high level of chroma or vibrancy. If you make a mistake with Alaprima, don't worry, there are two ways to fix it. The first way is to wipe it off with a rag. That's one of the magic things about oil paint. The second way is wait for the whole thing to dry and then just paint on top of it. Alaprima is a really great way to start a painting because once the paint dries completely, then you have more options. You can either glaze on top or scumble. If you're not familiar with glazing or scumbling, please do reference my other videos in this series. That's it for Ala Prima. If you got value from this content, please do follow, like, comment, and share for more art tips and tutorials.